infinity and beyond. Hi, I'm Tyler. Hi, I'm Aaliyah. And today we are going to be building an infinity mirror, also known as an illusion mirror. Infinity mirrors are an optical illusion created by placing lights between a standard mirror and a two-way mirror. A standard mirror doesn't let light pass through, but a two-way mirror is partially reflective and allows light to shine through it. Infinity mirrors give the illusion that the lights are trailing off. Each time the light is reflective, it loses some intensity and appears to dim endlessly. For this project, you're going to need a piece of one-way mirror, a piece of two-way mirror, some LED lights, a piece of aluminum flat bar, and a chunk of wood. This one happens to be from one of our previous projects. For the base, we cut the 2x10 down to 12 inches. We rip the board to square the edges and then cut it to 4 inches wide. At this point, we lowered the blade to cut slots for the mirrors to sit in. Using the drill press, we cleared a space on the back for the LED receiver. Then we changed the bits to drill a hole all the way through. With all of the cutting and drilling finished, we could finally sand the base to remove all of the rough bits. And make it look pretty. We just finished building our base. We have two channels cut into the wood, and that's where we're going to drop our mirrors into. On the back, we have another channel, and it is the perfect size to fit our little power block into. Now, the hole that goes all the way through is so that we can slip our LED lights right down through the middle. So once we drop our LEDs through the middle, we're gonna take this aluminum flat bar and bend it into a square to make a frame to mount the LEDs to. All right, so to mount this rectangle we're gonna bend here in a second, we're gonna to have to drill some holes in it. So we're gonna take a center punch, make a few dents, and that's obviously a whole lot easier when the bar is flat and not bent into shape. And do two on the other end. Now we, now we can bend. No, we have to drill the holes first. Uh, ooh, I have a countersink pit. To try and keep those screws flat. And there, right? now I drop this through. Oh, that looks perfect. All right, cleaning up our work surface. Cause it's covered in metal shavings. In the table. So. So for bending, what if we put this on top? Yeah. And then we probably shouldn't put it directly on that line, right? Probably a little bit off. A little bit off, cause it's going to take up a little bit more space. How do we bend up the edge? Um, oh, okay. So what if we clamped this down mm -hmm. to the table? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're then... saying clamp this like this and pull that up? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That would work? I think so. Ah. Ah. Here we go. <laughs> Moment of truth. Oh my gosh. Her poor table. <laughs> Depending. Hey, hey, you bent it. Yeah. That looks good. At least from my angle. Let me get a triangle. That's not bad. Let's see how close it is. Dude, it's <laughs> like perfect. No way. I mean, there's some wiggle in it, but. That looks pretty darn good. It's not bad if I do it by hand. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. All right, so it works. <laughs> Proof of concept. All right, let's see the other ones. Yeah, and then that'll sit open like that. That looks way better than I, th <laughs> way better than I thought it was going to look. Wow. We stick out a little bit. I guess you just need enough room just for the tape. Yeah. After screwing the frame down, we fed the LED strip through the gap and figured out how we wanted it to lay, and where to cut off the excess. At this point, we use rubbing alcohol to clean the metal and make sure the LEDs stick, and then we remove the backing and press down the adhesive. It's way easier to do this part with two people. But if you are alone, just go slow. With that done, we stuck the receiver in place. Do you want to put in the front pane and I'll get the back? Yeah, I think we're... Ready to put it together. Okay, you go first and I'll get the conventional. Cool. When you're ready, I'll plug it in. All right. 
I hope this thing works. I know, right? Okay. You all good? Good to go. All right. Ooh. Oh. How does it look? Oh, that looks pretty sick. Wait, can we see it on here? Can you get the lights? And I'll get... Oh, yeah, you can see it. I'll turn that off. I'll get these ones. Oh, my gosh. Come on, remote. <gasps> oh, that looks oh, sick. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, check it out. Oh, I look kind of creepy. A little bit. <laughs> okay. <gasps> that looks crazy. Oh, man. I want to see it from the front. Look at that effect. Seriously. And you would like never believe <gasps> that it's only like four inches wide. What? How many repetitions would you say there are? Oh gosh, There's I don't even be, know. Like, at least a hundred. It goes, I can't even count. Mothy boy. Mothy boy is set up. Ooh, do you see how the front and the back of the wings are alternating in the reflection? Yeah, I do see it. It is a little hard to tell though with how dark it is. Mm. These are a little bit lighter, a little brighter. If I can make them go between. A little bit more complicated. <gasps> Oh, 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 it shows. Yeah? Yeah, that looks, whoa. Okay, so it just needs to be brighter. Something to, for the light to reflect off of. If it's too dark, it doesn't really seem to show up that well. But that looks really cool. What about this flower? Okay, yeah, we can try a natural flower too. A flower? This is <laughs> flower. This is real? Yeah, that one's real. It almost like fluoresces. Yeah. Without UV light. That's super weird. We finished! Yay! Our infinity mirror is done, and this was a really cool project. We learned so much through the process, and actually have quite a few ideas of what we could do with this in the future. Yeah, we learned a lot by just positioning and tipping and tilting the mirror. Uh, the tunneling effect, the warping, really, really cool, and I think one of our favorite things was just seeing what it looked like with stuff between the panes. Yeah, the white flowers were definitely the coolest in yeah, my opinion. Yeah, for sure. No, for sure. Just because the light kind of passes through them. But if you guys have any ideas of what you could do with this project, or the different kind of things that you can put in between the mirrors, please let us know in the comments below. And if you like what you saw, be sure to like, subscribe, and tune in for our next video. We'll see you next time, guys. All right, bye. You are a woman. I am woman. Okay, okay. You might be good. You might oh. be good. <laughs> I'm